Hi, I'm Chantal from Tully's West Balloon Creations and today I would like to share my candy cup design for Easter, the Easter Bunny. And for this one I need two, two sexies in any color you like. I use the Caribbean blue for this one. A white two sexy, a five inch round in a color matching with your other balloon, a five inch round white for the tail and a scrap for the nose. So I start off with the Caribbean blue 260 and I pump it up almost all the way. I leave just about four or five things still left. So that's good. Don't tie it yet. I pump up the white 260 and you don't need a lot of this one so it doesn't matter. I tie them together and I start twisting on the head. Start off with a four finger bubble and stretch it a bit and then a nice big loop. For two years. Put that one through and make another four finger bubble. Twist it in here. And one more four finger bubble going up to the ears. Just roll through everything you like. And then trim off the excess, but you want to save this part because you need it later. So don't cut it here, but cut it up here. Keep that one and tie off. and hide it somewhere in between these three bubbles. Then I find the metal of my loop and the easiest way is to roll one of them and then push it down and twist one ear and then swap them around a few times. And then I shape them by bending them a bit. And then uh, you should have this. When you have these three, most of the time one of them is just a little bit longer or shorter than the other two. Put that one on the back. Nobody will notice. Then you start with your white balloon making a one inch bubble, maybe a little bit bigger, and one more one inch bubble, and twist them together. Then you make two four finger loop twists for the cheeks. One, and one more. Make sure you don't make them too big, because it looks not nice. Just make sure they're not too big. But a little bit too small, then too big. Swim up the excess, let it go, tie, and hide somewhere in between. And this is what you have. Then I take the scrap for the nose and okay. and attach that one in the middle. Arrange everything a bit. And then you should have this. Then I like to attach my candy couplet. I pump up the five inch round. 
put it in there and let the air go. And then I make sure there's a little bit space. Otherwise, when it's too big, your lid won't fit on the cup. Tie it and tie it into the cheeks. Just wrap it around a few times. One or two times is good. And now I have a leak in my fibers round. about excess, any excess left, that one, the first one that popped, just leave it in there. So, make sure this one doesn't pop. And then I'm going to make the eyes. I make just two round big circles. make them like you want. For the candy caps I like to do the full black circle with the white dots on it. When I make a bunny or any balloon with eyes on it for children on a gig, I don't like to use the adding pens because um, they keep on giving off ink. But this one can dry. So, and a few little dots here. And I leave this for now. So this one can dry and I start on the legs. For that one I use my other 260. Pump it up, four fingers left, but you let air go. And then you have six, seven fingers till. And you pump up your five inch round, wide. And let the air go, so it's a round bubble. And then this way. The bubble will be more round and the tight. So, like that. Leave it there for a minute. Now I start on the toes of my bunny foot. Make a small bubble, about one inch. Another one, and I pinch with that one. And the third one. And now I do pinch with the first one. And I want to have that one on the side because that looks nicer. You have your toes, then you make your foot by three fingers, small bubble, and pinch twist that one side. Then you're going to make your leg. Let's go around the candy cup. Make one leg, then you take your white fibers round and Tie that around and trim off the nozzle. So now you have one leg, then you start on the second one. Make the heel of the foot. Your second foot and three toes. Now you can trim up that stuff over and tie and hide it in between the toes. You 
of your feet and your legs. Now you need your scrap. And I start with the part that's closed. And then I wrap it around once. And then I make sure I go the other way, under or over the foot. So not just twice around, because then the scrap can come undone. And your foot will get loose from each other. So one more time, once around, and then I go over the foot and back. And now you have your feet nice together. You want you can have them more separate than you like, but I like them together. So now the tail is going down, facing down, to make that one facing up. Sometimes it is straight away. So grab it once in between the legs and then it's going up. Looks more nice. Happy bunny? And mostly I make sure the legs are just a little bit off from the ground. So, so the balloon doesn't touch the surface underneath. And then I'm going to finish off the eyes of my bunny with my white paint marker. Now my black ink is nice and dry. I can do this without making my white paint marker gray. So that's it. Now you can put the lid on the cup and your bunny is ready to go. And um, I do them at this time for deliveries. Uh, I sell them at a local shop. I put them just in there like this. For deliveries, I have these little bags with the cards of me as a clown. That's how I do the birthday parties. And I buy these at the dollar shop, they're really nice, you can have them in different shapes, especially for Easter, eggs, flowers, and you have to stick them together. So they come in 10 different shapes and colors, tie them on there. And then I have these little cards. Happy Easter. And I tie them on there or I give them to the people to write some message on it. And then when I put them in there, this one doesn't fit. So I turn the head of the bunny a bit. And this way it's ready to go for delivery. That's my little Easter Bunny candy cup. I hope you like it and um, show me your version. I would like to see that and you can for sure fill it up with any candy you like. In the Netherlands we have the Easter egg chocolate uh, candy but you can put in there anything you like. So bye!